What does the word father mean to me? The word father, um, I don't feel like I've had one. I don't know what that means. My father was diagnosed with schizophrenia when he was 21 years old. Phil is a, a very important person in my life and I love him. And I know he has love for me and what he's able to do. Where he falls in the spectrum of people who have schizophrenia is he's quite a severe case of it in that through all of my childhood into my teenage years and my early adulthood, he did not believe he was ill. So that happens uh, with some people with schizophrenia and, and it's a very, it gets in the way of their care and treatment. The way it impacted me was that it was always kind of a roller coaster of what might happen and dramatic outbursts of his delusional states coming in and out of our lives, going in and out of hospitals, psychiatric wards, and jails that then you know served to get him to a psychiatric ward. Because often with people like Phil, people who are on the street who have a mental illness that is untreated and they're homeless, the only way to get them treatment is if they do something that is against the law. So even if it was as simple as in a delusion he would steal a bike to get away from whatever voices he was hearing, stealing the bicycle would get him in jail that would get him care. first time I told anyone about Phil's illness, I was 19. People don't talk about it. Who, who announces that, uh, that they have a family member who's very ill and who's acting in ways that they don't understand, that are scary? So, so you have the fear, you have fear involved in that, you know, these people that you love are acting in ways that are often extremely scary, you know, that are not rational. So you're scared of that. You're scared on, on a personal level. I was so scared to get ill. You know, my father had this illness and I was so scared that it would happen to me. Um, and then the other fear goes with the shame of what will people think? What does this mean about us? And what happens in these types of families? Abandonment from the greater family because of a lot of the stigma and shame that comes around with, with having someone like Phil in your family. By the time I had photographed us and turned the camera on us, that was my only therapy. Photography was my tool and I took all these photographs. So the purpose of the book for me, that whole process, is I realized that the shame that I had, that I held about Phil's illness and about our situation and him being on the street was not my own to have. It was not appropriate. It was not fair. You know, he has a severe mental illness and people who are on the street who have his forms of mental illness are treated horribly by the majority of people who have no understanding of what's happening. So, so I felt a kind of responsibility also to share this and to have people understand that Generally, when you see a guy or a woman on the street picking out of the garbage or smelling or talking to themselves, is because they're in, you know, a dire mental health situation where they desperately need some kind of care and intervention. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.